Schneider. This is Tan from Tadoy.com and today I'm going to show you how to use UA Table View in your application and how to create a custom cell for your iPhone application. So we start by dragging a UA Table View on to Xcode. I'm going to minimize it a little bit. Now we have a data source which is where the data for this table is going to arrive and I'm going to put it to the file owner and a data delegate and every time something happens in the table some the user clicks on it, the user click on the uh, sub buttons if we have them uh, anything like that happened then we need a delegate for that so this is going to be the file owner as well most of the time this is what done uh, some other times you might select a different class for that. Now we have to declare that we are using the UA table data source and UA table delegate. <coughs> <coughs> now we need to implement at least two methods uh, in order to uh, work with the uh, the data source. So the first one is how many records are we going to show, how many records are we going to use. So the method is number of rows in section. We can actually divide this to section. In our simple example we're going to have only one section. And the other one is we have to return a cell. Cell is what the table is made of and uh, we are the one responsible to providing a cell and creating the cell as well so we are going to create a cell pointer right here and we're going to return the cell that we just created now as you can see when we create a pointer the pointer is definitely not a cell it's only a pointer to cell and we are not going even to test this application because it won't run it will will crash immediately because we told the table that we are going to return 10 cells and in fact we are returning just a pointer that point to who knows what and uh, so we need to create the cells so first thing to understand about table is the table will reuse cell if it can so if we create cells and we are the user is scrolling the table up or down then the cells that are no longer visible can reappear with a different content so this is why apple created a reusable mechanism in order to use the reusable mechanism we have to create uh, an identifier which is a string and i'm going to call it cell id and just give it any name that you like i'm going to call it my custom cell now we are going to tell the iOS that we want uh, to get this get the cell from the stack if it has it if the cell already been created and we, if we can get a, a reusable cell uh, we want to get it here now we can definitely encounter a situation that there is no cell so if nil equal our cell that means we have to create the cell so I'm going to create a cell I'm going to do cell uh, sorry about that Cell equal UI table view cell alloc. We're going to initialize it with style. Uh, I'm going to use I'm going to use the default for now. And uh, remember the user identifier. So this is it. And we're going to auto release it. That's it. Now, if we don't have a cell, then we are going to create a new one. And just let put something in the cell. So we got text label 
and the text will be a simple and a string. Says header from cell and the cell number. How can we know the cell number? We have the index path and it has two important variables. One is row and the other one is section if you're using section. You can divide the table. Let's say um, you have a component table, so you want to say internal component and external component, and you can have two sections. So it will return 10 cells, and for every cell, the table view is going to call this method and going to pass us the index, which is always going to be uh, section, which is going, always going to be zero in this case, and rows, which is vary between zero and 10, because it's a zero based array. So let's test it. Sorry about that. Here you go. Cells from 0 to 9. Now, we want to create a custom cell. In order to do that, we're going to create a new file, a new empty file, we're going to user interface and then empty. We're going to choose the iPhone family. And we're going to call it my custom cell. That's it. We have an empty file. Now we're going to drag a UI view cell. And we're going to make it a tad larger. Instead of 44, which is the default, by the way, we're going to make it 75. And we can put anything that we like here. Uh, we're going to label, you're going to put a button, 